was trying to wait to do this video, but you guys, I don't know if I put on like this front, like then I just know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and I'm an expert, and I. returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back which i've been up to let me know in the comments below um but if you are new please just hit that subscribe button already because you clicked on this video i'm going to give you some good content and i have so much more content coming so just click that subscribe button like since you're here and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram and follow me on my twitter so we can keep up we can keep up with each other when i'm not on youtube so let's just do that let's just get all that out the way um, Let's jump into this video. I was trying to wait to do this video, but you guys, I don't know if I put on like this front, like then I just know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and I'm an expert, and I and I just got it like that. Y'all, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I have a business. No, I've never took a marketing class in my life. No, I don't know anything about marketing. No, I don't anything about like business, economics, none of that. I don't know, but I can tell you what I do know. Five things about what they don't tell you about running your own business slash online boutique, whatever you have, your own business. I can so if you want to know five things that they actually do not tell you, please continue watching this video. And actually, I have a list of five things, but I do want to make a quick little disclaimer. Um, there is no particular order. I'm just saying these things because I wrote it down. The first things first, running a business is expensive. You pay for everything. So your branding is everything. Your branding is you. Like you're, you're paying for hang tags. If you have clothes, you're paying for um, the little labels on the back of your clothes, like an, and the little tags, you're paying for that as well. You're paying for like thank you cards, you're paying for business cards and the tissue paper and your poly mailers and maybe your boxes. Um, you, you're shipping, shipping, oh my God, I can make a whole nother video about shipping. You're paying for shipping as well. And it's, it's just so much that goes into a business. And then you have to register your business. You have to pay for your, um, like if you're doing an LLC, you're paying for that as well. You have to get all that legal stuff out of the way. And then you also have to pay taxes on your business if it's registered. You pay quarterly taxes. Like, it's expensive. It's, it's really expensive. I didn't. Like, I knew it was, it was expensive coming into this, but man, you are responsible for everything. Everything. And and let's not even, we didn't even talk about, like, rebranding. Say you want to change your logo. Oh, I didn't even, wait a minute. Let me back it back. Logo. You got to pay for that. If you want to make your, your channel, not your channel, if you want to make your Instagram feed aesthetically pleasing, then you got to use an app to pay for that like it's only going to be free for so long like it's you pay for everything running a business is expensive and then we've got ads it's just so much like if you want to do um you want to send packages to influencers like you're losing money because you're you're sending free stuff to influencers and you don't know if that is actually going to help your business so it's like a 50 50 chance so it's just so much so all i have to say is starting your own business is pretty expensive if you really really care about your branding and you really want to just just start off well not even just start off like if you really care about your branding even if you don't really care about your branding starting a business is expensive and you notice i didn't even mention inventory uh, everything that i just said and now add on your inventory it's expensive. So if you want to start a business, I strongly recommend just saving, like saving for at least six months before you launch. At least. Save your money. Number two. The second thing I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend is taking your time and creating a marketing plan. Your marketing plan is actually what's going to help you make sales. It's going to help you get followers. It's going to help you grow. 
Like, don't be like me. I did not take a marketing plan. I don't have a marketing plan. I'm just winging it and going out like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But you learn as you go. That's how most things are. Like, YouTube. You really don't know what you're doing on YouTube. You're just doing something. And then finally something clicks. And then you just take off. Like, that's really just how it goes. Like, you're learning as you go. But I strongly recommend creating some type of plan. Like, create, like, picking out your colors, your palette, what type of scheme you want. What's your target audience? Who do you want to attract? Things like that. Like, what type of clothes do you want to actually sell for your boutique? Or what type of jewelry do you want to sell? What type of makeup do you want to sell? Like, you really got to narrow it down so you can find your niche. Like, for real. Like, you, you need to create a marketing plan. Don't be like me. I just, like, I know I want to sell clothes. I know I want to sell cute clothes. Or, like, just going out, having fun, kicking it, traveling, things like that. Like, my clothes was to be out and about to be seen. That's, that's what my vision was. And then the pandemic happened. And now I'm just like, oh, my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Boom. Create a plan. Don't be like me. Be better than me. Number three. Now, this is something that is going to help you from within. Because I will say that um, you're going to feel pressure to keep up with the people that you see on Instagram, that you see on Facebook, Twitter, what have you. Like, you're going to feel pressure. But the thing about it, you cannot compare yourself to a business that's been that's been up and running since 2014. And now they look like they ball and they have like two two stores, they have pop-up shops, all this stuff sell out. Do not compare yourself to them because you don't even know how they started. And now it's like year five and now they're finally taking off. So do not compare yourself. And I know it's hard. It's gonna be so, so freaking hard in the beginning. Like it's so freaking hard because it's like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making sales. Like, how do I, how do I sell this? We actually have the same outfit. Like, why is nobody buying from me? Do not compare yourself to the next person. Even if somebody started off the same time as you, do not compare yourself to them. Maybe they got a plan that works for them. Maybe they have a bigger following than you do. Maybe they understand marketing. Like, don't worry. Like, with your business, you can treat it how you want. You can revamp it as many times as you want. You can change your color schemes. You can do whatever. Just keep trying something to find out what actually works for you, your brand, and your business. Do not compare yourself. If you are serious and you are dedicated and you are committed to your business, it will grow. That's all I'm Number four. Um, I need you to remember that this is a business. So with business, it fluctuates. That's with any business. There's high season, there is low season. So with, with your online boutique, it, there, it's up and down, up and down. Like for me, for instance, sometimes I'll get sales back to back. Sometimes I, don't, I won't make a sale in a whole week. Like that's how it goes. So you got to keep that mentality. Like it's up and down. You just got to keep, keep pushing to your, your, your revenue is just like a steady, it's a steady flow. So you just have to keep pushing. Like for me, I can go like a week, a week or two and not make a sale. And it's, it, that's normal. I mean, I could be doing something to make it better, but I'm just, I'm just painting the picture that it happens. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just start working on your plan, trying to see what you can change different on your site. Maybe you actually don't have a site. Maybe you need to invest in a site. Maybe it's your pictures. Maybe you have stock images and that's turning people off and you need real images. Like just play around and see what works. Ask people to look at your site and give you feedback. Well, people that you trust people that you value their opinion just don't ask anybody close friends close close friends close close family ask them so you can get an idea of what people see when they see your your business so that's all I'm saying all right and also I do want to say number five it actually goes in with number four so I just wanted to roll these in together um Take what people say with a grain of salt. Even this can be actually your close friends or your family. Because like, for example, say your whole first collection, everything is pink. Like you love pink, that's your thing. It's like Legally Blonde, that's your thing. You just want pink, pink, pink. And somebody's like, I think you need to add black. I think you need to do this. I think you need to go up this size, this color, this whatever. Um, I think you need some work clothes in there. Like, Take what people are saying with a grain of salt. Because if you take everything in, then you ruined your vision, you ruined your, blend, your brand, and now you're not attracting your target audience because you're taking in everything that people are telling you to do for your business. If they have so many suggestions, then you need to make your own business and you need to apply that to yourself. 
So remember, you can only take in so much, but don't lose yourself. Don't lose sight of your business and what you envision for your brand. Because if you do, the, you know what? I don't even have to go into that. Just think about this. You will never please everybody. You ain't gonna please everybody, so don't even worry okay. about it. So that is the end of my list. Those are just the five things that you just need to know before running your business. These are five things that you along. Ah, these are just five things that I have learned along the way, and hopefully this can help somebody else that's trying to start their own business. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I am really learning as I go. I see the emails, I see the DMs, I see the comments. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, once I get this understood and once I have a clear understanding of what, I do, what I'm doing, I will deliver all that information to you. Just give me six months to a year to figure this thing out because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm really learning as I go. I'm learning what works and what does not work. And then once I figure that all out, I got y'all. I've seen the emails. I've seen the DMs. I've seen the comments. I got y'all. Just give me some more time. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did not subscribe and you watched this entire video, please subscribe. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And yeah, um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and do not forget, I have a sale on my site right now, labellymind.com. So please check it out. Let me know what y'all think. And if you see something that you like, I do have a discount code for 15% off. And it is TikTok. All right. Thank you guys for watching. You know what? I'm actually getting ready to record a whole nother video. So if you see the same outfit, yeah, I'm just recording back to back. I'm like changing. So, okay. Bye y'all.